everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a really pretty matte eye with a bold lip. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to get this look, then just keep watching. It's the Dona Lace EB09 brush, and today mostly we're going to be using the Tartelette palette, the all matte, um, purpley, mauve, neutral palette. So first I'm going to grab Natural Beauty, which is right here, and we're just going to layer that in our crease. A little bit of a larger crease brush this is the Zoeva 228 brush and then I'm gonna grab this color it's called best friend right here I'm just gonna put that also into the crease Brush. This is the MAC 224 and I, there's nothing on it. I'm just blending those colors together. This super stiff um, short haired brush and I'm going to take Caregiver which is right here. It's kind of like a matte, very, very light baby pink. I'm going to press that all over the lid. And I'm pressing so I get the most pigment possible. And I'm just going about three quarters the way on the lid. I'm just going to add my highlight and this is my highlighter brush. Um, I'm going to grab Super Mom right here and just put that under our brows. absolutely favorite new liquid liner. This is the Everlast by Sephora Collection. And I would get this one that has like this little pinpoint. This one's amazing. You guys will see. winged eyeliner is done. Um, I'm going to grab my Clinique Skinny Stick and line my upper waterline. You guys, this is the best one I've found. It's super black and it stays in place put on lashes but just for that barrier a nice um, little lift for them to stay put on I'm gonna use my Dior iconic Cur over curl mascara which is my absolute favorite I'm gonna use my red cherry number 43 lashes and I just get these from Madame Madeline and I just get them in bulk because her prices are so good and then they always throw in um, a free pair also and I've been ordering from them for years years I'm gonna use the NARS radiant concealer in vanilla And I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting also, so I'm going from here to here. And then I'm doing the same on the other side. And I'm going right underneath my liner just so it's really sharp and intense. And then 
And now I'm just doing a little bit on my chin. And then right underneath where my cheekbone is. And then right down my nose and on my forehead. And then just for a little bit of a boost of a highlight, I'm gonna grab this Sephora Smoothing Brightening Concealer. I'm going right underneath my eyes. Same in that triangle. Down my chin, right here, right here. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Bobbi Brown um, foundation stick in almond, and this is way too dark for me, but I contour with it. And I'm going right where my cheekbones are. Jawline. And I like to do this all together, just cause I like to blend it out all together. And then I do my nose also. And then just a little bit below, oh my gosh, just a little bit below my um, lip. So I'm gonna blend this out with my Beauty Blender, the same one that I use for my foundation. And I'm actually gonna take my concealer brush and go right underneath. That eyeliner. just to sharpen it up a little bit. So now I'm just going to blend everything out. And I like to blend out my highlight first and then go into my contour. Blend, blend, blend. blend it out we need to set it so I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna grab another wet beauty blender and then just pack that under my eyes So wherever I put my highlighter, I'm setting it. So now we're gonna wait for about <laughs> five to 10 minutes. Been about five minutes. I'm just gonna dust all this off. And I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier Classic Beige Mineral Powder. And this is the Sephora 55 brush. And I'm just gonna grab 
a little bit in the lid. And then put some right where I contoured, just so all of it blends together. brush from Make It Forever. It's called the pencil brush. And then I'm just going to go and grab that natural beauty color right there. And I'm just going to really focus that on my bottom lash line. As close to your lash line as possible. Just to give your lower lash line a little bit of shape. blending brush that I use in my crease and then just kind of go to town on that bottom lash line just to blend it all together. that same mascara for um, bronzer I'm gonna use my Mac give me sun bronzer I'm just gonna lightly go where on my cheeks around here I'm to contour a little bit I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs contour and then my NARS Eda brush and just contour a little bit contour my nose and I use the Makeup Geek Smoky Eye Brush to do this and I just go down the sides of my nose and then right at the tip And then I blend it out with, actually this has no name, it's just like a pointed fluffy brush. I just want like a cheek glow, I don't want anything crazy, so I'm going to use the Sephora um, Flirted Up number 6 color, and I'm just going to focus at the backs of my cheeks, just for a little bit of a glow. To make my highlight stand out even more. I'm going to grab the yellow side of the Marc Jacobs and I'm just going to press that onto where I highlighted. And I'm going to clean it up a little bit. For lips, I'm going to take my OCC um, lip pencil in Black Dahlia.
So, and then I'm just gonna fill the rest of my lips in with Soar by MAC. And then I'm going to grab Rebel by MAC. I light everything and um, my favorite highlighter brush is the Sephora. It's the Pro Contour but I really like it for highlighting. Um, and I'm going to use the Makeup Forever in 01 and I'm going to use this side. So I'm just going to grab some of that and go right here. Now I'm just going to set my whole face and this is the Tashka Luminous Dewy Skin and even though I'm oily it doesn't make me oily so it's my absolute favorite um, setting serum right now so all right you guys this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it please leave me all your comments and requests down below I will see you guys later